Hey, how you doing? It's been a while. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I want to start making some videos because I, I haven't made any in a long time, or it feels like a long time anyway. Okay, got the battery changed. So I've been on a little bit of a reading tirade. It's crooked. I, I wanted to document this because like I, I went into a very closed off thing, and, and this is normal for me because once I get overloaded or I have a sort of fork in the road or some sort of very stressful or very uh, troubling or frustrating issue in my life, sort of clam up so I can kind of regroup, reorganize, re-strategize, recharge my energy because I was just like exhausted trying to figure this thing out and trying to give so much of myself to, to try to build a business that works, you know, and that, that would um, be the business that I want to run. So. I was a little frustrated with that, so I clammed up. I didn't talk to anybody because I felt like if I did talk at a point that I wasn't ready yet, I think just complaining and negativity would be spewing out. So I needed some time to let things like digest and um, readjust and then um, a great time, it was a great time to do that because I wasn't actually getting any increase coming into the business. So I, I feel like with a lot of things I try to pay attention <laughs> and I'm like, hmm, I'm not getting a lot of bookings right now. We had this surge of bookings and then now it's like really quiet and I wonder why that is. Oh, I think it's why, I think it's, I think it's because I need this time to reflect, to recharge and the universe is allowing me to do that um, by not dealing with more clients but to deal with the ones that we have to deal with the problems that I have right now and to read. I have no option but to read. I'm so frustrated I have no option to read and I'm not a very strong reader. I get very distracted. I read two sentences and I'm like, like, what am I doing over there? Or it'll give me an idea in the book and I'll be thinking about the problem about that idea. And it, I actually was able to get through February uh, 18th, 2018. I got through one, two, three. They're all red by the way. <laughs> and now I'm on four. This is a really good one too. And so I thought it would be like really important to kind of document these and I'll give you um, just a sort of background and as to if you are running a business, I think that's totally normal that you should allow yourself to go through the, the, the stages of grief basically when something goes wrong in your business because I think when something goes wrong, like an idea or a concept or a system that fails in your business or you had to let somebody go, something died you know, in that business. And for me, it was like, I was going through all the stages of grief. <laughs> I was sad, then I was angry, and then I was like, trying to rationalize things, and then and then there was acceptance, and then, and then there was like, okay, what am I gonna do with all of this, these lessons moving forward? And so I thought it was so um, fitting, you know, it was like good timing, again. Um, and the first book I read was The Checklist Manifesto. So let me give you the abridged version, and I, I encourage you to check this out if you're super clueless about lists and you're not an organized person. I don't think this way. I don't think in terms of lists. I sort of think very like, give me the whole picture, give me your philosophy so I can take that philosophy and make decisions based on that philosophy. That's how I kind of like to think. However, when you're trying to teach other people, um, that doesn't always work, you know, people don't learn the same way that you necessarily do or, or appreciate. And so, if you are to be a manager, and when you are an entrepreneur, you are an entrepreneur, a manager, and a technician. We can jump to this one really quick, that's, a, that's like one of the first things I read in there, which was like, blew my mind. When you are an entrepreneur, you, you embody those three kind of roles, right, those three hats. Um, and so, with me, I'm more... Uh, you know, you have percentages of those roles and so for me right now to be able to build a team that's like my biggest frustration right now is the manager hat and this for a manager I think is very important to, to know how to do to, to know how to structure a checklist and you may think it's like what you how you get a whole book out of <laughs> how to make a checklist it's like to do not to do you know it, it seems very simple and and the way that this book breaks it down it goes oh it is very simple but you need that bridge you need that transition of how this thing kind of speaks to you and i can go into in, in depth on that but i'm like i feel like i got it like i feel like it, it'd be one thing for me to explain it to you in the way that i take it but it's 
it's totally different for you to to get the book yourself, to get it in your hands, and if I inspire you to actually read something <laughs> in a book, then I think that's that's a much better outcome from this video. Versus like what I was gonna do was I was just gonna look up the abridged versions of all these on the internet and save myself six dollars a book or whatever it is, right? But I was like, actually, it's not the same because the way that you interpret this information and the way that you'll interpret this information, it's going to be different because for one thing, I'm in a different industry. I'm in a different position. I have different goals and values and priorities and blah, 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 blah. So for you to actually go and pick up this book, any one of these books on your own and get it in your hands and for you to take away what you need to take away from it, that's a lot more powerful. And so that's, I think that's what I wanted to document in this video is to be able to maybe inspire you to go, cool, I think I, think I do th see some value of checklists or I do see some value in um, how to build a team in, in this book called The Alliance and I'll, and I'll see what it's about and I'll take what I, what I want from it and, and apply it to my business and take action. I think that's the most important thing. Another thing too with reading books, I don't read it cover to cover, like word by word. I, I sort of, like again, I take what I need from it and um, I'll go back and reread things or I'll, I'll, I won't skip around too far ahead. I'll, I'll kind of stick to the chapters, but if there's absolutely a chapter that I feel can kind of get a hint that it, it doesn't relate to me, I won't read it because <laughs> I feel like I need to get to the information that I need to get to. And uh, one of my first mentors, when I first started creating content online, he said, um, just know what you need to know. You know, just learn what you need to learn. We don't have a lot of time, <laughs> basically. And for for anything, it's like your your mind is always racing anyway. So I had a hard time keep, keeping focus, but I was motivated because I was like, dude, I need to take my ass to school. Because the reflection that I got, you know, looking in the mirror when when those systems that I had that I had kind of just like put out in the air and, and threw up in the on the wall and hoping to, to make things stick. It didn't work, it failed, you know? And I was like, oh, this is hard. <laughs> Building a team is hard. Building a team of like, even just between my husband and I, it's hard work, man. Like, geez, there's so much things I'm learning in with this book um, about Kevin and I as him being the more entrepreneurial, visionary, got an idea every five minutes and me being the more managerial systems order and we cannot kind of live without each other and I was like oh that's so nice to hear <laughs> it's so nice to hear that my role is so much so valued in that way um, and then at, and then at the same time for me to be able to take this book and then convey it to my partner because he won't read a damn thing let's just be honest books man I knew books were helpful but like when you when you get to a point where you're like I need to learn some stuff cuz I need to go to school and I need to be better at what I'm doing. One like the first one, this guy sat in, sat sat in the house for a good like 3 days. I didn't touch it. And I was like I got to start reading that book. <laughs> and then I would re I would watch videos first. I'm going to get inspired first watching videos about building teams, about leadership, about successful businesses or why businesses fail. Yada yada yada. And that gave me enough inspiration to go and take the action of read the book, take what I need from it, really dissect it. I would really think I've earmarked a bunch of these pages. Um, I wish I had a highlighter with me because there was so much good stuff in here. Um, and things that really just spoke to me and, and the problems that were happening in, in our business, the issues, the things. So I feel much better, <laughs> but I've been clammed up and I, I, I didn't realize that's I mean, why I was doing it, that was sort of different, where I didn't even talk to like my sister, I didn't talk to my mom, um, I talked a little bit to my mom and my dad, but not really. Um, I just kind of clammed up because I was so like, hmm, introspective, you know, I just wanted to kind of figure it out and, and deal with it and roll things around in my, in my mouth, <laughs> like, hmm, this tastes sour, what can I do? So that's what I've been doing and I've just been kind of like uh, recharging my batteries, reading as much as I can. I got like 
four more books on the way and I'm kind of loving it because I I never thought of myself as a reader because uh, um, I would just always get distracted but if I if you think is reading as you know you just want to be better that uh, then I think then reading becomes less of a chore because you know the outcome after you read a couple of things man there's lines in here you're just like that's so true <laughs> it speaks to you you know and some books some books have done that for me in the past and and then I I forget about it because I get lazy to read um, but I think it's still so important to pick up a book phys a physical book it's not the same on a Kindle it hurts my eyes like too much um, it's not the same but now I know what my sister's talking about yeah it's not the same it's feeling the pages you know I will follow up this video it's already like 10 minutes long with um, kind of the main takeaways that I got from here perhaps uh, but I just wanted to do a little like intro video back back into making video and stuff and um, I know I keep saying it but like it's I mean videos always kind of been there but just not as, as powerful as I'd like it to be nowadays just because I'm so wrapped up in these back-end things that aren't as you know exciting to film or maybe as exciting to talk about or maybe even controversial to talk about. <laughs> That's what's been going on. That was just an update video. And uh, I do recommend that you check out the Checklist Manifesto. I'll go over the other ones in, in some more videos, but the Checklist Manifesto, pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, see ya, see you next time.